Hello Prim friends. So our Hartville video here has been so short. I thought I would go ahead after the announcement was made that um, Berlin Antique Mall is closing. I thought I would come run over here. So their Facebook page says that they will be closing as of August uh, 31st. So I thought I would come run over and Take a quick run around this shop and see, kind of give you a heads up of what kind of things that they have. Uh, this is all, of course, outside. So I'll go on in and see if they're okay with me recording inside, and hopefully I'll be able to take you on with me. Um, another upcoming video also is another one from um, Meander Hill. So, yeah, I've got a bunch of them out there and just have not, with the weather being what it is, just have not had a chance to um, get some of these things edited and uh, up online between our flower farm and my day job. <laughs> some things sometimes just sort of get in the way of the fun. So best thing that you can do, again, I'll say right now, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you're not comfortable with that, that's okay. Just go ahead and leave a comment down below. The comments are really helpful uh, to our channel and to our videos. So I think you might have to subscribe in order to be able to leave comments, but it does not cost anything to subscribe. And, um, it really just helps all of our little prim channels. There aren't many of us out there, and honestly, every time someone subscribes, that really does help. So, again, we're at the Berlin Antique Mall in Berlin, Ohio, in Amish country. They do have a Facebook page uh, if you want to check that out, and we will go ahead uh, go ahead on in on so inside. All right. Well, there's music in the background, so I'm going to do the best I can to talk over that, and hopefully we won't have an issue. If not, I'm going to be trying to figure out how to do a voiceover on our uh, on our video. So, again, this is Berlin Antique Mall, and they are closing at the end of August. They're open Mondays through, I think, Saturdays until 5 o'clock in the evening. They are not open on Sunday. And they said that several of the dealers are going to just be moving on to uh, other places or just completely retiring. So I'll try to bring you along and show you those areas that are more primitive than others and uh, kind of give you an idea on what prices and things like that look like here. So, so just stick with me as I kind of wander from one booth to another and hopefully continue to be able to talk over the music that's going on in the background. And I'm probably not going to be able to talk that much. So if it does go silent for a while, that's just YouTube copyright issues with the music being in the background. So stick with me when it gets quiet. I should be able to pop back on again. So nice little brown glazed uh, crock there. There's a number two crock right here. This one says 30% off all items including those marked firm. So that'd be a nice discount on that one. So a lot of Lots of rolling pins, neat corner cabinet. Uh, it's sad to see the, the shops closing, but my understanding of this one is that the building is going to be converted um, for use as a church. So that's kind of an interesting um, change to something different from antiques. Lots of books. These are all new books actually here in the corner. So we'll go on and 
wander by all of that. I don't know how many of you are interested in glass pieces. That's really kind of not been quite so hot in the in the several recent years, but there do seem to be some newer collectors of that. And here's another prim prim booth or more prims. Antique cookie cutters. The small one. Okay, here's another booth that has more of the primy kind of pieces in it. Looks like a maybe a tobacco cutter. Uh, $50. This booth says 30% off including the items that are marked firm. So that's another another good one. Big basket up there. That one's marked at 80. Again, this is a large boot or a large shop that has several different dealers in it um, from all over. So this one's been here for a, quite a long time, if I remember correctly. Look at this with the large pot hanging on the wooden teepee. That is really neat. Big, big apple butter stirrer. And you can see the apple butter stirrers down inside of there. They have that marked $345. So I normally don't talk prices, but these are items that are, you know, dealers that are trying to probably liquidate and move on to wherever they may be going to. There's a neat tin, pierced tin, uh, looks like a bread box up there on top. And it is, it is a big mall. Love that set of stairs here in this side. That's really neat for display. So some things maybe have already moved on, but so keep watching to the end because I'm going to put the Hartville uh, flea market and my awesome finds there for the Cape on the Corner, which were really kind of a surprise to us after uh, getting there and seeing everything else that kind of was there. So we are thrilled with what we found at the uh, Hartville uh, Outdoor Flea Market. So again, yeah, lots of glassware, but there are prim, prim pieces and prim sections here in the mall, so stick around. Maybe we can get um, the girl from the Crazy Lamp Lady uh, to come over too, because I'm every time I go around a corner, and while it might not be exactly our style in the primitives of things, there are a lot of glassware pieces, and they may be just exactly what she is looking for. And with the sale prices here, might be up her alley. Here's another booth that's 50% off, and these are all primitive pieces for the most part. This one they say it's a washer, washing machine. And here probably a, um, maybe a, mm -hmm, butter churn, a couple of cigar molds, 42.50 each. And those are all items that are currently marked 50% off. So I took a drive out to visit a friend that I hadn't seen in, oh, it's gotta be over a year now. Um, you know, just didn't seem like I could do this video without mentioning that the Primitive World lost a, an, a prim artist and collector. And um, yeah, if there's somebody, friend, family that you haven't seen in a while or haven't reached out to, do it. Because you just, you never know what tomorrow may bring. Some neat hinges. Let's see. Zor hinges made and used during the Zor Society. $35. Here's an early tin pail. That 
that's 45. There's some neat, neat pieces in here. I like this. Um, Tiger Maple Wooden Masher. Well, that may have to come home with me. There's some neat, neat pieces in this, in this booth as well. Lots and lots of um, Longer Burger baskets here. Lots of glassware. Some really special uh, glassware pieces. Just a, just a really neat shop with a lot of different eras of pieces. Well, I did buy the antique Tiger Maple masher from uh, the shop. It's been in business for over 20 years. Sad to see these kind of places go, but you know, it happens. And yeah. Hello, Prim friends. Well, I'm bringing you today somewhere that I've not been before, but heard about it for years. We're at the Hartville Flea Market in Ohio. So I'm gonna take you along here as I get to tables that may have some interest for prim people like us. There are several booths that have things like this. a nice booth here. Check out these. Antique ducks with glass eyes. Doorstop. I go in there the other day. They make you a sense of walk on the Oh, and he wants you to pick him up. Okay, so we're going to talk over this because there's music in the background and I don't see any prices on these, so I am going to have to ask on those. Alright, well I'm going to talk over the music again. There's music everywhere here. I think we might have found a nice set of five chairs to go with our outdoor table. They kind of look like uh, some Windsors. So those will be going home with us. Pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> this is definitely one of those kind of places that you just don't go with any kind of a particular idea in mind of what you necessarily are going to find. And you just, it's all serendipity. So if you need a, a bear or something else, <laughs> you may very well likely find it here too. But I'm really excited about those uh, iron chairs. They will be wonderful on our patio at the Cape. This is a very unique booth as well. Check this out. Looks like, wow, maybe for hunting, for um, vampires? Yeah, look at that. Very interesting. Pretty cool art. Wow. Wow. That is very cool. Really. Very clever.
That is really slick. Check out the light fixture. So I'm going to try to talk over the music in the background as well here. There's some more some older and vintage pieces here in this area as well. But, you know, unfortunately, it seems like every time I'm... Oh, there we go. A little respite in an area where there are antiques. And finding uh, loud music as well. So You know what? We all... That's very cool. Love that. They taught us how to not put stuff in our mouth. It's just it's such a common thing. I know. That's a nice. So she makes me say an expert. So I'll say I just did you. student paying off student loans. Nice. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it, and if not... Yeah. Okay. So, if you do come out for the Hartville flea market and sale, I mean, there there is more than just um, tube socks and solar powered little things that wave. <laughs> there is a little bit more than that. I, I did get a nice little haul. I'll put a picture up. Um, so yeah, there are certainly antiques and things here too. And over there is Hartville Kitchen. Um, if you're familiar maybe with all of the uh, Hartville salad dressings too. But this is supposed to be the largest is this supposed to be the largest hardware store in America? Yeah. In the world? Uh, wow. Yeah. One or the other. It's big. Allegedly. It is big. Do we need a cart? No. <laughs> oh my goodness, they have a whole grill zone. Yeah, it is nice and cool in here. I think this place even has a house inside if I remember correctly. Jim is this the store that has a house inside it? Yeah. They changed the color. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in what feels like a hundred years. Eighty dollars for a big wheel. Wow. Here's the house built inside the store. It's the Idea House, 2023.